now i am going to be to like uh, some i want to create a menu and the menu may have the different pages so each tab if i click it has to be navigated to the different page so the next level so if i come in here so yeah i'm just going to be create this one so what i can do is just i'm copying from the w3 schools the, whatever the body style is there so for the style do you have the content it is not there just i will create the content folder under the content just css the css i'm creating so style sheet that is i'm putting as a main so i'm copying here so now so if i see here like this one the the main template then i have menu one i'm keeping So this one I'm putting here. So this is the menu I'm putting here. This is the home page and the new page is this one. Now these are the pages. So now I need to be drag this one to here. Just I'm roaming this one. So yeah. So I created a like a different pair, like uh, the menu I'm creating. So how it will be going to be is if I'm going to be if if I do like this, it has to be work because as of now not found it is showing that way. It has to work that one. So what I can this is the in the from the. Uh, Customization of the MVC side is done. I am going to be publish this one. So before publishing that one, I am going to be create the files here. So what I will create, I will going to be create the render renderings. So for this one, I am going to be folder. I am going to create with my name project name travel my travel so under this i am going to be create so i am going to be create a like page controller there so i am just I'm putting the page here so if i come into here now we have these all the menu section now i am going to be add a controller Taking the MVC controller with read write actions. Okay, this is the page controller. So I am going to be delete this role. So index, index. I am like otherwise you can put it as index or don't get confused. That is a home. I created a home. Now and for a home, just I am creating the default view by clicking the add view there is no layout page for this one so i am removing uh, removing everything and keeping home page and in the similar way for uh, next one is in the menu what what it was there news and contacts and about we need to be create action for each so just i am So news, contacts, about, okay, this is also H1, news page, So, 
so about page so required views i created next one is i need to create a placeholder in the master to create a placeholder in the master like you need to be like if i see this the solution we don't have any site core assemblies now we need to be install the site core assemblies for this one i am going to the nuget package so if i go here the what like uh, the nuget site core and I, I need to be install site core mbc site core mbc nuget okay i'm going here so this is the uh, uh, which version is suitable which site core mbc version is suitable for my site core 9.0 update one we need to be fine properly if i go here if i see this one if i go to the site core 9.0 update one downloads if i go there yeah this is already if i see this one up oh. see 9.0 update one version is the like 171219 if i go here i want for this version whatever the compatibility site core mbc uh, libraries i want so this is this one for this one like this is a source instead of we can run using the installation installation uh, install package or otherwise you can do in another way simple way is take the source and come here as a package source add here so the paste this oops sorry this not copied i'm copying this pasting this one and this is i'm saying that on site core source okay now i am selecting the site core source and the browse and i want site core .mpc. so if i see here for site core .mpc, there is a two versions out there site code mbc site code mbc dot no references if I see the downloads, 156k downloads happen. This is only happened 47 to 47.2k. The, the because more number of people they downloaded the no reference. The reason is if you choose if you uh, uh, like install this new get, it will install not only sidecore.mbc, it will install all the references, whatever the dependencies it has. If you select here, whatever the dependencies it has it install everything we don't want that we want only like sidecore.mbc assembly so take choose this one no references and even here also you need to select the right one so 171 so that is the site 49.0 update one so i'm installing this okay okay let me see this one so it installed this one okay now i am going to be this layout master i'm using sidebo.mbc that's a very friend so that the next one is a tail i'm giving the placeholder it's dml dot site code dot placeholder i'm keeping the placeholder name as a main okay now i am build rebuilding this so it succeeded so I just only like installed sidecode.mvc with no reference, so there is no dependency to want install. So this is the only the package I installed. So now I am going to be go here. I am creating the page like renderings. So I need to create the control rendering renderings. So for uh, like what is for a home. 
one is for use one is for contacts one is for about so the paths will be the the controller name like you need to give the controller name here dot controller name comma the assembly name this is the assembly name so this is about like regarding to this is about so what is the function inside the control that is the about about okay so copy this one because we have to use the same thing for contacts also this one what is the action name contact so the home like we want to hit yeah okay home is there okay for news so what is action method is the news okay so i created a renderings so like directly if you use this rendering it will directly hit the corresponding action method so what i can go and create here is for under the home i am going to be create what is the uh, first home page i will be configured here home so if i go here first i will create the pages this is the home is there under this one i am going to be create uh, the news news I am going to be create contacts. I am going to be create about. So you can change uh, the item name is this one. Okay. The if I check the about item name is the uh, uh, small letters and you can create the display name as as you want like first one as a capital letter. Contacts use and this home also like just I'm renaming the personal name with home but display name as a home I'm creating okay I created this now I'm going to be configure the layout and I'm like assigning the the particular whatever the renders we created it as it under the placeholders so if I go for the presentation of this one if I go here I'm going to the final layout. So I'm going to be choose this one as a master layout. And second one is I'm going to be delete these all. Add. So for the master layout, if I see what the master layout, this is I assign that one. So there is a placeholder main I need to be filled here. So what I want to fill is for home, my travel, home. As a main, I will fill that. Repeat the similar for rest of the pages. So detail page layout. Change the first layout. So it has one placeholder. The placeholder is the it is about page, so the about rendering. Placeholder is a main. Go for the contact. Choose the master. Delete the this all and add contact rendering in the main placeholder. Similarly, in use.
so the page name page is also i created this is the home page about page contact page and news page whenever the page is rendering it is corresponding assigned layout as well as the rendering it will be rendered so now so what i will be going to publish this row So by publishing, I am choosing the publish sub items. So the parent item as well as sub items, all it will be published. Okay, publishing is done. Now the, 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 I, I need to be published this role also to the destination. Okay, done. Now this is whatever I created was there. If I go and check at inet pub, so pages and all you saw there. Okay, good. Now let me check. We got an error. The view home or its master was not found or no view. Let's see. This one I have, these are all pages are there. Let me see. Oh, okay. Oh, it is not published anything. So let me see why it is not published. If I go for here, like each item, if you publish now, the selected version won't be visible on the website because it's final workflow step. Okay. And now what we, we need, to, how we can do is, select this one go to the review tab and submit this so just and approve that next so done now see the error gone you need to do repeat the same for rest of the two pages So again, I'm selecting here. Publishing now. So just checking how it is published. Again, check. Yep. So let let's check again. Oh, still the error did, did not disappear. So I think whenever you are trying to be searched for a home page, it is searching this this path. But uh, our path is areas slash blog slash views. So what we need to do is yes, this is a missing here. Whenever the action method was there, whenever returning, like if you keep without passing anything then it will try to search in this path it will try to be search uh, at this level in this views path it will search so we have to give the path name so what we can do is hold. This, copy this yep this is give for all the rest of the operations oh okay now i'm publishing it's working so this is a home page by default if I click on the news so if I click on about about so it's working uh, 